What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Monday and we're going to see what delights EA have given us today. Nothing in FC Pro, nothing in Live, nothing in Seasonal, nothing in Milestone. So not a great start there. Mondays are usually a decent day, to be fair. So maybe we get a new evolution. Fair play to EA. Said it before, say it again. Evolutions have been absolutely bang on this last couple of weeks. Keep it up, EA. Keep it up. Tricky Ricardo in there. So, no, we just got Silky centre half. Two footed attack two might be new as an extra bonus one. I don't think it was one and two before. It might have been. I might be wrong, in which case. I apologize. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, guys, let's have a look at the SBCs for today. What player was it today? Oops, wrong button. Whoa, wrong button. Um, what player was it today? Brilliant. Too many. He obviously wasn't today. Peter, Coman, De Jong, Lewandowski, Luis Openda, Harrit, Grimaldo, the string promotion player moments update. Oh, oh Reese James. Four star, five star. Can also play right mids. Good pace. Good passing. Very good defending physical and dribbling combination. Dribbling's a little low, but he's got jockey plus. Whipped pass plus, long ball, incisive pass, bruiser block, relentless and throw in. This card for me, guys, is 100% suited for a right mid over a right back. The reason why I say that is because he doesn't have anticipate, but he doesn't have intercept, although jockey and block are good. His passing is brilliant. The reason why I like him at right mid is because his passing is very good. Good vision, great crossing, very good short pass, very good curve. Decent long pass, decent pace, decent dribbling. I think an engine on him, and he becomes a very, very well-rounded right mid. I'd also think an anchor on him. Wow. That's a lot more affordable than I thought it was going to be. I can't even lie. An 86 and an 87, both requiring an inform. But that is decent. That is decent. Um, what else did we get? Upgrades. We should have a new upgrade today. Is that new? No. Uh, the 82 login, 82 plus upgrade was already there. Team Elite player pick was already there. We've got the 83 plus player pick back again. It's just golds with uh, a rare. You know, I like this generally, but also I don't like it when the 81 plus player picks here because the 81 plus player pick is very, you know, oops, crap, very similar to this in terms of what you get. You know, 81 pluses over 83 pluses, but it's way cheaper. But I do prefer it over the 80, the 80 plus player pick because the 80 plus player pick, um, it is, okay, it's only six players with one rare, but there's a whole bunch of absolute scrub players involved. This, I think that was repeatable five times per day. I'll be honest. One of four. That changes it. Yeah, I, I'm about that. I'm about that. I like that. I like that. People five times a day. I'm, I think it's worth doing this. Obviously, the 84 by fives are very good. The 80 plus is back again. And this is exactly what I'm saying, right? The 80 plus should just be... Uh, six golds, one rare. Two, four, six golds it is indeed. One rare it is indeed. Uh, so it's a bit cheaper than the 80+, plus, but obviously has a whole host of other really terrible cards in it, doesn't it? Um, let's have ourselves a little look at what we get out of one of these. Yeah, this look at that. Like I, I, I genuinely would focus on the 83 pluses first, guys, before we do the 80 pluses. The 100 pack is back. Absolutely atrocious value. Daily bronze, silver, and gold are there again. Well worth doing. No new challenges. And even the uh, for birthday tradable challenge thing has gone. Did we get a new icon today? It wasn't on the, 
on the cards, but you never know with EA, do you? The answer is no. Uh, anything new in the exchange? The answer is no. Damn. Actually, a bit of a slow day. Mondays are usually a, a busy old day. But not today. Is that pack back again? Oh. Every day. Every day. I mean, I'll open it. Swedish camp. Oh, it's Forsberg. That's awful. It seems like this pack's getting re-upped every... I mean, listen, fair play. If people are engaged in it and, and buying it and interested in it, why wouldn't EA keep releasing it, right? Oh, that is a terrible pack. Forsberg and Giocaris. Oh, that's mad, to be fair. That's a 2 million coin icon. Oh, he's so good. 5 star, 5 star. Finesse shot plus, technical plus. Insane stats. That is a really tidy icon to get for me. All dupes and crap, the rest of it. That's why EA keep releasing it, and that's why people keep buying it, man. Like, if you've got the coins, it's well worth it. Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, I want to I wanna do a couple of little checks on things here. First things first, ask questions last. Yeah, so the UEFA marquee women's marquee matchups is back for... Oh, it's a rare players pack. That's actually pretty legit. Prime mix players pack for Barcelona against Bran. Uh, PSG versus Hacken for a rare gold pack. I mean, that's banging, isn't it? 8K value for a rare gold pack, a Prime mix players pack, and a 50K pack, all tradable. Yes, please. Give me some of that. 80 plus player pick is thumbed up. 83 is just about thumbed up. Reese James rightfully massively thumbed up because that I honestly think this is a banging card for a banging price. Way better price than I thought it was going to be. It kind of makes sense with fullbacks that they don't overprice them because there's so many good fullbacks in the game this year. Uh, they've given him 8 stamina and 12 agility above his other cards. And of course, he's now 4-star, 5-star, whereas before he was 4-star, 3-star. He was high medium before with jockey plus, whip pass, bruiser, and first touch. He is now high high with 4-5, whip pass, jockey bus, incisive, long ball, block, bruiser, relentless, and long throw. A really good upgrade. As I say, I think option number one, pop a shadow on him. The 94 rated fullback has got great pace, great defending, good physicals, very good passing, good dribbling. Option number two is an anchor. Therefore, he's got very good physicals, very good defending, very good pace, everything else the same. What I personally would probably go with is the engine. Agility, balance, and dribbling is top tier. Reactions, composure are good. Ball control is all right. Pace is great. Look at that, 99 curve, 90 long pass, 95 short pass, 99 crossing, 94 vision. And then as a right mid slash right wing with good defending and good physicals, he's going to be a beast. He's genuinely going to be a beast. Um, I think Chelsea fans have been nice. I think that's really, really good. I think that's really, really good. And then we've got, do we have any new players? I don't think we do other than, uh, other than James. No, just James. And I just want to check if that Evo... Was it one and two before? It was already there. So no Evo today. Not that that's a problem. Like I say, Foot Birthday has been absolutely banging for Evolutions. But unless we've got a um, splash screen, a new splash screen, which I don't think we will have, even though the content was actually good today, I, I do you know what? I feel like I feel, I feel like I don't mind days like this where it's like, not a lot of content, but what was released is worthwhile. You've also got like the re-up of the daily content and the daily play and things like that. Um, but yeah, there's no no new splash screen either. And so uh Yeah, very, very good from EA. Um I think I think all this as you're seeing on the screen right now, this is the new content for today. Five Five of those 83 plus player picks, because they're one of four, I think it changes it. I think it was one of three last time. Being one of four is really tidy. You've got a good chance of getting something big. Of course, you've got a good chance of getting an 83 or an 84 or an 85, of which you won't be making your coins back. Um, but you've got a decent chance. The UEFA women's marquee matchups is banging. The 80 plus player pick is very, just very good. I like it a lot. And uh, Reese James, I think, is a brilliant SBC. And so. That is going to be it for today, guys. Let me know if you're going to complete this, Reese James, down below. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.